talk about insufferably ill with TDS. <laughs> Greetings, and welcome back to Here's What I Heard. I'm Lauren Goddess, your hostess. Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. Don't forget, every Thursday at 7 p.m. Central Time, the Talk To Me America show with yours truly, where the world wants to know what you have to say. So call me and tell them like it is. Please support the channel and help me to grow by sharing, liking, commenting, hit the fire button, and a donation would be the ultimate. All my links are below. Click on some of them, will ya? In today's video, I'm going to show you an example of someone that not only lives in the fantasy land of DC, who is so corrupt that she does nothing but deflect, and once she picked out a scapegoat, he is all she can think about. You see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd, and you push back on them. I take you now to a House Rules Committee hearing somewhere in Washington, D.C., in the middle of a conversation between Guy Reschenthaler, a Republican from Pennsylvania, and Mad Maxine Waters. This conversation is already in progress. I'm Donald Trump. Okay. You're making I ask quite, you to you're, denounce you're Donald making Trump. quite the intellectual lead. Did he just call her stupid? I think he did. She didn't even get it. I'm talking about I genocide and mass I ask you to denounce starvation. Donald Trump. Okay, he's not I a communist. Asked you right to, I asked you to denounce Donald Trump. This is quite the intellectual elite ranking member. He just did it again. Let's talk about Venezuela. Let's Venezuela. talk about Donald Trump. Really? <laughs> this chick, all this chick ever wants to talk about is Donald Trump? And I don't know who this person is. I don't know how this conversation got started as far as that goes. But it sounds to me like that uh, Maxine Waters isn't willing to even talk to anyone unless they denounce Donald Trump. What a power control freak she is. Okay, let's talk about you this. You answer my question. We are here talking yes about a resolution no. to condemn communism and socialism. Okay, so again, for the record, you've refused to denounce Mao Zedong, Joseph Stalin, Pol Pot, and Hugo Chavez. That's amazing. For the record, Ranking you member, refuse to denounce Donald Trump. You refuse to denounce the insurrection that tried to destroy our democracy. You refuse to denounce the Proud Boys, the Oath Keepers, QAnon, the KKK. You refuse all of that. Really? I didn't hear any of that in the conversation. <laughs> like I say, what got this particular thing started? Are they talking about Venezuela or are they talking about something in the United States? I doubt it. Like I say, this is an extreme example of an insufferable TDF sufferer. Let's go on. This woman's never been known for her smarts either. I told you, I'm a capitalist. I'm not like Donald Trump. Wait, 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 wait. You're a capitalist, but you're not like Donald Trump. Donald Trump is one of the biggest capitalists on the planet. <laughs> and I bet the fact that her le I bet the fact that she claims that she's a capitalist not once but twice in this video means that uh, her lefties are going to rag her a little bit, I bet. They don't usually like that term. I'm not like Republicans who claim to support this democracy. You don't get to speak for us. But at the same time refuses to condemn those who attempted to destroy this democracy. What, was there maybe five or six that didn't bother talking about it? Everybody else said it was terrible, they didn't like it? Uh, both sides, lady. She's not listening, evidently, or like I say, her ears closed to anything that isn't Donald Trump is bad. You need to talk with your leader, Donald Trump, about what he's doing. What, what is he doing? He hasn't been in office for three years now? What is he doing? Playing golf? <laughs> Tweeting? Or truth socialing? Why he loves Putin so much. Why he loves Kim Jong-un so much. You ask him the questions. You're doing a lot of deflecting. I mean... 
Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't see Donald Trump sitting in the room anywhere. You're the one sitting in this room, Miss Waters. I ask you very simple questions and you've just done nothing but deflect, so I'm again. asking you simpler questions about yeah. protection for our democracy. Right, well, one thing that I can affirmatively say is that I would denounce Pol Pot, Mao Zedong, Stalin, Lenin, G, uh, Mao Zedong. I I've got no problem Will you denouncing denounce Trump? That. He's an American citizen <laughs> and he's not a dictator. If anybody's a control freak, it's you. How do we get this woman out of out of out of office? Talk about Venezuela. Venezuela was at the largest GDP before Chavez took over. I want now you. Now they're literally eating their dogs because they cannot feed themselves. You want to denounce Donald that? Trump? I want you to denounce the Proud Boys. I want you to denounce QAnon. I want you to denounce the KKK. When you do all of that, then we can talk. In other words, I'm too good to speak to you unless you tell me that Donald Trump is bad. I'm not going to do anything with you. I'm not going to try and reach across the table or anything like that unless you denounce Donald Trump. Which again, has absolutely nothing to do with anything that they're seeing or doing here. In fact, even when he was president, did he have anything to do with the House Rules Committee hearings? I don't think so. I haven't heard one denouncement from anybody on the Republican side. It doesn't look like you're in charge of this meeting, Miss Maxine. What is going on here? Nobody has denounced that. What? That's bullshit. It happened on January 6th. Are you afraid of Trump? Do you agree with Trump? Ask him the questions. He's not there. Bring him here, lady. It's like, I don't understand. It's almost like she's thinking he's sitting next to her or something. That's one thing for sure. She can't get him out of her head. I don't know what he did to her, but she sure has... This is an this is this is actually even more extreme than Rob Reiner. Don't ask me. Okay, so just to be clear, I asked you a question about Pol Pot, and you started talking about the former president. Again, do you do you denounce the killing fields of Cambodia or not? It's a simple question. You know that you're simply playing politics. Oh, now she's telling him what he's doing. I love I love these narcissists that can't get through. <laughs> oh. You understand what this resolution is all about. Don't ask me silly questions. But well, Ranking Member Waters, I would think that this would be the most bipartisan bill. I mean, the fact that this isn't passing on suspension just says everything about my friends across the aisle, that you can't condemn socialism. I mean, in your opening remarks, you were talking about Putin, Kim Jong-un, and, and Z. You know what they all have in common, right? Wait for it. Wait for it. You know what this answer is going to be. Wait for it. Wait for it. Trump. <laughs> Trump? <laughs> North, like North Korea, anymore. China, and Russia? He loves Kim Jong-un. That, that's quite the intellectual leap. Did he just call her stupid yet again? <laughs> and she still hasn't gotten it. I would say communism. Uh, would you like to denounce any communist leaders? Well, I don't know what you're asking, but... Uh, she doesn't know what he's asking. He's only asked this same question five times already, but she doesn't know what he's asking. Again, a true narcissist. But let me just tell you. But let me just... Yeah, I can go through some atrocities. and You can, you can say if you agree with them or not. You can choose to denounce them. If you'd like to go down that path, we can. All right, so Mao Zedong is responsible for between 15 million and 55 million people starving to death with a great leap forward in the Cultural Revolution. Do you denounce that, yes or no? But Trump loves him. <laughs> but Trump, but Trump, we're talking about you here, Maxine. She's so afraid that something's gonna come out and you know, that you know how corrupt she is. How many times have we caught her giving her daughter and her family campaign funds? to stuff envelopes so she can get reelected and continue to get reelected. Who else is who else's pockets is she lining? She's not being elected anymore. She's being placed there. There's no way this woman should still be in office. Somebody's getting their pockets filled for her being there. Yes or no? That's you, your leader. You did, do you denounce the genocide? And Trump is not their leader anymore. McCarthy is their leader. 
I don't know where she gets this. Trump hasn't been in office or been anywhere near DC for three years. But yet she cannot get over him. I'm beginning to think that she actually loves him to death. He did something so nice for her and all of that, but because of she, who she is who she is, she has to act this way. In, in the words of Shakespeare, which most people think he's a racist, which he couldn't have been back then. <laughs> Methinks thou protesteth too much, Miss Maxine. That's the starvation your leader. Trump is your leader. He speaks for you. He says he loves him. You okay, so you're, you're, de you're, you're refusing to denounce the starvation of 15 to 55 million people in communist China. You're, you're refusing to do that. Sir, I'm a capitalist, okay? What's that got to do with the price of tea in China? <laughs> She's a capitalist. Okay, so what? Does that mean does that mean you don't care what happened to all of those people back then? Just that Trump loves him. And I've never heard Trump say anything about Pol Pot. In fact, I've even heard Trump denounce these people. But he tries to get along with them because it's something you gotta do. We're pretty much doing business with these people. All right, would you like to, and, and that's a no, you refuse to denounce that. Stalin, tens of millions died in the Bolshevik Revolution. Millions died in, in gulags. Do you want to denounce that? I'm sorry, I don't deal with yes or no questions. Boy, ain't that the truth. Remember the last thing I showed you guys on my last show, where she said, simple answer, and then went on to write a book. Simple answer. I am here today in this rules committee because we're taking up time uh, with basically a non-issue. First of all, you claim that socialism has engulfed this country, that it keeps creeping, it's going to take over private businesses, etc., etc. That is not happening. We're in a democracy that we're trying very much to save and to not have disrupted, undermined. Simple answer, my ass. <laughs> okay, well, you get, why don't you explain your support no, of Stalin? No, why don't you explain it? I, I'm asking you the question. Do you want to denounce that or not? I, I told you in the beginning of this resolution that I discussed. Right, what so again, I think we ought to be doing. So again, but you're refusing you to announce Joseph Stalin. Like we're in the kindergarten class. Yes or no? I don't do that. I don't do that. I'm too good for your yes or no questions. Besides, they might incriminate me. Okay. Again, for the record, you're refusing to denounce Joseph Stalin. Your Republican leader, Donald Trump, is friends with, supports. Putin, Kim Jong-un, he loves him, and he led this country in being basically undermined about January 6th. She doesn't, she can't even get it out herself. Listen to her. She's, she's making it up as she goes along. It's the same crap over and over again. And nobody believes her. That's why she keeps doubling down. Like I said, what she answered about earlier that she doesn't do yes or no questions, that should tell you everything you need to know about this woman. Including not only his leadership in telling his supporters to go after our own police officers here and use the American flag, many of them, to damage and to harm. So I think we... What a fucking liar. What a fucking liar. She's starting to believe her own bullshit. Like I say, she's she's doubling down on this stuff even after January 6th committee and all this other stuff went absolutely down the tubes. They even rescinded the subpoena to get Trump to testify because there was nothing there. Somebody needs to slap some sense into this woman or get her the fuck out. She's an asshole. She's a narcissist, and she doesn't belong there anymore. To answer the question of why this can't just pass on suspension. Will you answer the questions I ask you? You're not in charge here. This is bullshit, and it doesn't have anything to do with passing whatever it is they're trying to pass here. Which tells me she's trying to deflect, and she has no intention on, on passing anything. They just want to waste their time. And then turn around and point the finger... At the Republicans, see, they deflected everything. They wouldn't let us do this. Well, you watching right now. Who's the one that's deflecting and not letting anything happen? 
I don't support anything but serving the people of this right, country. Bullshit! You haven't served the people of this country since you've been in office. Otherwise, you wouldn't be paying your own family out of campaign funds, which is probably illegal, but not in California, probably. Pretty much now you know why the Democrats never seem to get anything done, even though everything is an emergency, and then try to turn it around and make it look like the other side is at fault for it. I don't see the Republicans answering questions like this bullshit, do you? Not to mention the fact, like I said before, she was stalling. She used every trick in the book to get whatever it was questioned out of, out of their heads for her to answer that probably would have incriminated her in some way or another. Either that or she's just literally insane anymore. We've got another dementia patient in Washington. Well, you see what we end up having to deal with constantly. They make no rhyme or no reason and there's no, there's no arguing with these people. They need to be gone. We need to find a way to vote her out of office. Somebody needs to win against her. Somebody needs to either line more pockets or do like the other guy did and lie to get into office so that he can, you know, it's the only way to get in there. Stop playing fair with these assholes. Because you know damn well she could answer the question. But then she, you, you saw her. She absolutely, I won't do a yes or no question. I don't do that. Well, guess what? We should make her start doing that. If she, she should be held in some kind of a contempt because of this right here. She wasn't in charge of this situation. She tried to take charge of this situation and then tried to make it look like everybody else's fault. This is, this is what you get with an extreme insufferable case of TDS. The man hasn't even been in office for three years, but yet all she can talk about, think about, and legislate is Donald Trump. Tell me that's not an illness. I do hope you enjoyed my video today. Don't forget every Thursday, 7 p.m. Central Time, the Talk To Me America show where the world wants to know what you have to say. So call me and tell them like it is. Now streaming on YouTube, Odyssey, and Rumble. Also, please help to support the channel by liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting, and uh, hitting the fire button. Also, a donation would be the ultimate. All my links are below, so click on some of them, will ya? Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. Until next time! AMF!